Karen here and today we are going to talk about what you need to have in your glove compartment and this is something that anyone needs to know because a lot of times we have a lot of things that they're not necessarily need to be there so let's go and let me share this list that is going to be very helpful for you in case that you have an emergency or something that it requires tools that you need to have in your glove compartment. So this is the list that things that you should have in your glove uh, compartment. Number one, uh, you need to have your registration card. Number two, insurance card. Number three, your owner manual. Number four, you need to have a flashlight in case that you are stranded on the middle of the road and it's at middle of the night or maybe it's already dark you need um, a flashlight just to make sure that it's not nothing under the car any leak or something like that it's uh, the flashlight is very helpful the tire gauge is another a small tool that you need to have in your car in case that your dashboard is telling you that one of the tires needs some air um, you need to make sure that your tires have the right pressure in there. So that's why it's very important to have your tire um, gauge in there. So another thing that you need to have there is your car, uh, your um, cell phone charger. Okay, your cell phone charger, just because, I mean, we are on the phones all the time. We need to have our chargers there. That is very important for you to have there. Okay, so another thing that you need to have is a pen or a notebook where you can save the emergency contact information. So I know now with the technology and we have phones, sometimes we don't really know on our heads the phone numbers of for emergency contact. So you need to have them there just in case of anything, um, have a list of emergency, um, emergency contact information, okay? Another thing that you need to have in your glove box as well is every single receipt that Auto Repairs is giving you or warranties. Um, this is very helpful because sometimes we need to prove that we did. Uh, we take the car to any repair shop and they did the job and just to valid any warranty, you need to keep track of those receipts that, they give you, that they're giving you. So just keep them on the glove box. Or you can have a planner or a journal where you are keeping also all the car information that you are doing in your car, even if you do it yourself and the, what the mechanic is doing. And we have the My Car Maintenance Planner. This is, you can find more information about it on the, on the comments, but that's an amazing tool that you can have in your glove box compartment. So one more thing that you can have there, it's a multi-use tool. Um, that is, I'm gonna show it right here. This is very important because because let's say you are in a car accident and you're stuck and your belt is stuck and you just can't get out. The glove box compartment is just handy and you can have tools in there that are very helpful. So you can grab this multi-use tool and just cut the belt and get out. So those are the most important things that you should have in your glove compartment. Please go check it out and stop having things that you shouldn't. I know when we have kids and we're running around, we have so many things in that glove compartment. I know, I'm a mom. And sometimes every now and then I have to check it out again just to make sure that I have the things that I need and not things that are not needed in there. So I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that was a very uh, helpful lesson for you. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media. And if you wanna join us in our community where we have a lot of ladies like you learning about cars and supporting each other every time they have questions, please, the link is on the, on the comments. You can go there and click it and join our community. You're not gonna regret it. We are learning so much in there. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Bye.